I like art. I like art books. I've seen some amazing art created for games over the years. Occasionally, special edition games or pre-orders come with small bonus art books, usually not much bigger than the game case. Typically, these art books are just some sketches, concepts, designs, and background art from the game. They might not be much, but they do show a little of the creative process behind the games. Game art, on the other hand, is a large coffee table book that not only shows sketches, concept designs, and art from the games, but also interviews the creators of these games. It's a grand showcase of creative ideas and inspiration behind the games. A majority of the artwork comes from indie games. Atelier Chali, Child of Light, and Never Alone, just to name a few. But there are a few big name developers in the mix. EA Bioware with Dragon Age, Square Enix with Final Fantasy, and Tempco with Fatal Frame 2. While I really love the art, what I like best about the book is the behind the scenes look at some of the games. For instance, Compulsion Games founder Guillaume Provost talks about the challenge of having the main character of their game, Contrast, be a little girl named Dee Dee instead of the full-grown woman, Dawn, that the players actually play as. How at PAX, the crowd outside their booth was surprisingly 90% women. And how they got a lucky break from Sony when Drive Club was delayed and they were asked to be the PlayStation Plus free game of the month. Little details that you wouldn't otherwise find out. Little details that make the games that much richer for knowing. The art from the 40 different video games is varied and beautiful. The large format of the book shows off just how stunning, detailed, and amazing it is. A lot better than any tiny bonus art book could. From the tribal styled art of the Inupiaq tribe in Never Alone, to the Japanese anime of Atelier Totori, to the fantastical universe-like Flomo, Author Matt Sansbury has assembled quite the book. Game Art is a great book to sit down, read, and if you're an aspiring video game creator, get a little inspiration and insight. Even if you aren't, it might make you want to play some of these games. Game Art is one book you need to add to your library.